Nestled in the outskirts of one of the world's most welcoming cities, this is Dublin's Liberty Market. But the freedom that was once on offer here is starting to show signs of erosion. But we're bringing the people into the country and the minute they get here, they get everything. They're getting the medical card, they're getting, they're getting house, people, and only people are living on the street. So, I mean, I don't see, there's no fairness. Larry calls downtown Dublin a no-go zone. There's no way I go down because it's like a no-go area. It's so many nationalities in the town that people are afraid to walk in here down the town. If it wasn't before, it certainly could look like a no-go area today. Dublin's night of violence has left its Black Friday shopping weekend quiet. People off is the main reason. I think it's been, I'm surprised it didn't happen sooner, to be honest. I... If you're helping other people, help the people as well that have been here longer. Otherwise, it's going to create conflict. There are uh, divided issues here, you know, but um, Ireland is uh, a welcome place for uh, immigrants. <laughs> The unrest came after anti-immigration sentiment grew in small parts of the country, some of it exacerbated by crimes attributed to migrants. Frustrations about immigration are worsened by a long-running housing crisis. In Dublin, house prices and rents are simply unaffordable. That means overcrowding in socially deprived inner-city areas. Homelessness is also at record levels. Aisha and Sabina say immigration has become the scapegoat. Thursday night's violence has frightened them. It is shameful that we had to cancel the Supran because of the things that happened in town. Um, we have the service users who are um, vulnerable as well, but this type of incident never ever has happened. Even though you, you call the country your home and you give all you can, you, you know, you do what you can to give back to the society. But if something like this happens, you do feel that unsafe and you do feel unwanted. The soup kitchen serves about 500 mostly Irish people every week, immigrants serving indigenous communities. The city is changing and not everyone likes it. Sadia Chowdhury, Sky News in Dublin.